I will now show you how to code graphic documents. Let's go to the navigator on the left side. Let's select the picture I have here. And I will select whatever segment of this picture I want to uh, uh, code. I'm going to select this here. And now I will right click coding and I will create a new code uh, that will be associated to this quotation. Uh, therefore, I will select the option Enter Code Names, that is also known as Open Coding, and I will write down the code Health Services. I can enter more than one code uh, at a time, so I will enter the code Vaccination. Create. So we have now a quotation in this graphic document that has been connected to two codes. I can, and I should, in fact, uh, define uh, each one of these codes by placing the cursor on the code on the margin, right-clicking, and selecting Edit Comment one at a time. And now I will define the code. All references to the provision of health services. So this is an attempt to uh, give a definition to this code, and I will do the same thing with the other code. Right-click, edit, comment. Um, uh, this code will be used uh, whenever there is a reference. There is a reference to the vaccination campaign. So we have now a graphic quotation connected to two codes, each one of, of which has been defined. Uh, now I will uh, go within this uh, graphic quotation and select another segment. Because I can do that, I can select as many segments as I want, one within the other. Uh, in this case, I will also create a new code, but instead of right-clicking, I will go to the options on top, on the top ribbon, and I will select uh, Open Coding, and I will create a new code that I will call Health Professional. Now you know that uh, it's a good idea to right-click on the code on the margin, edit comment, and uh, attempt a definition right, uh, of the code. And from previous videos, uh, you know that we can also comment quotations. So you place a cursor on the bar on the margin, edit comment, and write a comment on that quotation, which is really different from a comment on the code. A comment on the code is a definition of the concept. So we are working at the conceptual level. And a comment on the quotation is a reflection upon what uh, the person is saying, uh, either in a text document or graphic audio or video documents. So you're really working now at the level of the data uh, rather than at the conceptual level. And now I will say here, I wonder if this is a community health agent. Let's research this, right? Research this. I close this, yes. So I have now uh, two quotations in this picture, uh, one within the other. Each one has been defined. I will now go to another document that I have, another picture, right click, well left click in fact, and double click, and now I will select this, this segment of the picture and I will code with a code that I have already created. Therefore, I go to the left side uh, navigator, I open my list of codes, and I will select uh, the code Health Services. Drag and drop. And I feel uh, motivated to say something about this segment of the picture. Right click, edit comment, and I will write, they seem to be enjoying 
the interview. And the comment has been written on that quotation. And you will see that because there is a yellow, little yellow symbol that is right on top of the quotation. So that means that a comment has been written on that. So that would be all for now. And uh, in another video, I will show you how to code audio as well as video documents. Thank you.